morning, people. Did y'all think I forgot about you? I didn't. I was getting ready for my talk in Swansboro next week, which is Monday. Still need to finish Rotley and Salem, but you can only do one thing at a time. Look how productive I am in the morning. Mm. And I have people here that are cleaning today, which is very nice. Come every other Tuesday. Wish there was some way I could keep people from being in my house after they hear like three days of no children. No, I love my children, but I would like some cleanliness. Donna, what are you doing away? Good morning, Kate. Hi, Jessica. Y'all, I've gotten the nicest um, messages about people that want to give me their strollers. One woman, Faye Strauss, please send them to my house next. Uh, that is a negative. It's bad around here. Beautiful. Claire, you're pushing your luck. Hey, Cassandra. Um, I thought you meant your kids. That my kids were cleaning? Uh, no. Sorry, I don't have a bra on. I don't need to scare y'all. Hey, Ashley and Heidi and Carmen. It's raining again. Ooh, it's not raining here. I know, I have to pick up um, Blair, it's a long story, and Amos at about 1.30. Hey, Ramona. And we're going to go to Rocky Mount. How did the Facebook supporter meeting go? Did I have a support? What was it? I can't even remember. Hey, Liz. Um, I'm picking them up. Amos is getting tubes tomorrow and this afternoon. Hey, Deanne. I'm working um, the polls for my friend Bruce. Mm-hmm. Yes, I love him. I wrote a story about him this morning. He um, was a good friend of my big brother's. And after Adam died, you know, his friends were really kind to me. I was 15. Adam had been, was 19. And he has just stayed my friend. And I don't have any many, I don't have any but Bruce, like male friends that are my friends, you know? And I mean, he likes Thomas and they're friends and hang out and stuff. Um, you had a meeting about how successful. Oh, 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 okay, I'll talk about the next. But, um, Bruce is my friend. And it's really, oh, your son's getting tubes too. Ugh. Um, he's my friend. So whenever I go through Rocky Mount, I will send him a text and say, hey, do you want to meet for a hot dog at Central Cafe? And usually he can. Um, then I'll go to his house and hang out with he and his wife, who was born a week before me. She has a twin brother, and um, they're, so our moms were pregnant together. And my mom said they felt so bad because her mom didn't know that she was having twins, and she kept saying, oh, my ribs hurt. And mom said she would say, oh, everybody's ribs hurt, you know. Why are you complaining? Well, darn if there weren't two babies in there and they didn't know it. Those are back in the good old days. Yes, Bruce is a surrogate brother. So I've known Ashley a long time and love her. And they have two girls and then a little boy who, who is almost the same age as Amos, named Powers. And um, anyway, Bruce is just that friend for me. And it's really nice to have that friend. Um, so when he started running for county commissioner, we've been kind of having meetings and talks about education. And he's asked me lots of questions. And like me, he's a Republican. Um, so he's probably a little more fiscally conservative, but he's not an idiot. And I just love that about him. And so I can't vote for him, but I can go hang out at the polls. So if anybody is in Rocky Mount today and wants to come by Inglewood Methodist Church, I shall be there from four to seven. Mm -hmm. mm. So anyway, I'm excited to do that. But I'm taking, be careful at the polls. A voter was run over by a poll greeter. Well, I'm going to be a pole greeter. What are, how are they running over people? I'll park on the street. I'm taking Amos. I have a babysitter there um, who I'm going to meet them at Rocky Mount Academy where I went when I was in school in Rocky Mount. And her name is Caroline. And she is going to be in charge of Amos so I can work the poles. I want to look at a minute. At, there's a powder puff game. I've never seen one of those. Do you all know what that is? It's when the boys cheer and the girls play football. I sort of like that concept. And then 
Blair has been dying to go with me somewhere. And I was like, actually, that wouldn't be bad. She would only miss a day of school. My car speakers. How do you even do that? How to do that? And then she can help the babysitter tonight. Because if you don't know Amos, you know, it can be kind of tricky. So she's real excited to do that. And to see my friend Meredith's daughter, Sarah Dunn, because Meredith has a son named David with um, autism too. And it's nice to have friends of siblings that kind of understand what you go through. Don't you think? I do. Not that I, it was ever me, but I like having friends that kind of understand. So I'm excited for them to get to play for a little while. And then Blair is real excited to go to Chick-fil-A. And I told her we had to be up tomorrow morning in Raleigh at 5.15. So Blair said, we need to get up at like 3.30. I said, oh, I was thinking four. Oh, God. And Amos, you know, can't, nobody can eat. Oh, that's bad. Oh, yes, Lori. It's going to end her perfect attendance streak. I wonder if she thought about that. Amos has had perfect attendance. He got a certificate for a cookie at Subway. He used to get like pizza and stuff. Cookie. I mean, I'm appreciative of the cookie, but no, that's not good enough to not miss school. It'd give you like a hundred bucks. Mm. So Blair and I shall go. And we last time we were out of there early in the morning by like 9.45. But I don't think Amos is going to be feeling too peak perky. So I think we'll just come on back. Maybe we'll eat lunch if we get there early. You know, the trouble is I can't see because of y'all's comments. My very see-through t-shirt. So that's why you're looking at my boobs. I didn't mean for you to. Um, yes, so I'm getting Blair. Yes, I had a good Facebook supporter meeting um, Friday, I think it was Friday night, about my numbers being really good. I'm up to 422 this morning. So, it's like 12 yesterday, which is good. Oh, I tell you what, though, it's hard. Um, and I have a person I would like to hire to help me. What is that white building behind you? Where is it? Uh, oh, hold on, let me that one, that building used to be an office, and then we just keep a bunch of crap in it. I wish I had it a, as an office again. And then this building right there is a playhouse my husband built. But it's kind of near open. Amos likes to go down that very big slide. And these are all our leaves, which we worked on really hard last week. They're back, so we're ignoring them. Thanksgiving, you know, is when the leaves start stop falling. Um, so yes, um, I have this person I would love to hire. So I, I've got to have a thousand supporters before I can hire her. So I've told her that, which my hope is the end of December. But I told her let's plan on September. I mean, certainly do it by then. Golly. Anyway. Um, because then she would make half my income. That's okay. Most of us have them too. Oh, leaves. I know. And acorns in my cap. Kitty. Kitty threw up this morning. I bought new cat food. That's what they had at the darn dollar store. Wasn't that Purina one? Cat throw up. It's not as bad as cat poop though. Uh, what else? I have not heard from the Today Show. Mm -mm. They haven't emailed me. I can check my spam. Oh, the service dog. I know. So the service dog, now when he turns five, we can start the process. And so we're going to do that. And they want you, there's a group in Virginia, but there, there's also two groups in North Carolina. Um... And there's one near Wilmington, and I think that one might be the best for us. But none of them are specifically for kids with autism. There's a group up north, but you have to be able to get to them. So anyway, I want to start the research for that. And I think they're anywhere from 12 to 15,000. And a few years ago, um, in 
North Carolina, there's Trillium, which is like all the Medicaid money sits in a, an account and then it builds interest. And that money goes to fund programs like Amos's camp in the summer. And one thing they would do was they would give you a grant um, for a dog. So they would pay for the dog. So all, but you had to use their company, which is fine. So we're up north. I can't remember. I think it was New Hampshire and there might be one in Connecticut. I'm sure there are a bunch. Um, I've like just been, if I find something, I just stick it in a file and, but I hadn't, I'm not going through it until at least till after next week because next week is insane. Um, and so I was like, well, that's great. We're going to apply for that grant. And so I haven't applied for other grants. Okay. I'll be in there. Um, I got to pay for Jessica. I hadn't applied for other grants because I was like, well, I want to save my money for that, right? Well, then I'm doing a live video. Hi, Francesca. Hi. And um, well, so this summer I had a phone conversation with them and she informed me that they no longer do a grant for that. So, so there goes my service dog. There go, there goes my service dog grant. Now I gotta find a check. And there's one in East Tennessee. Oh, good. Okay, send me the name. So anyway, you know, that's how, what happens with, when you make plans. They don't usually work out, which is fine. So we know that there is the perfect dog for us out there somewhere for Amos. And we are excited. Okay, send me the name so I don't lose them. Let me find. Uh -huh. hee -hee. Uh, okay. I'm looking for some money here. Here's some money. All right. How about this check? Um, hold on a minute. You just have to deal with me for a minute. So, we are going to start that process. And you can do like a, some people do GoFundMes, but I don't want to do that. I really don't. That is not on my plan. And I want to pay for the dog myself. And it seems like the supporter thing is a good way for me to earn money and pay for it. 11, 2, 18. I don't think today is November 2nd, but that's okay. Close it up. I need to this to Francesca. Where'd she go? Francesca? Just normal life. Oh, she's out in the driveway. Um, so, yes. Thank you so much. Okay, see you in two weeks. Um, hickory. Oh, hickory. Any more from Tony Hilton? No, I haven't heard from that Tony Hilton. I had to take a break from the education. Wearing my ass out. It's exhausting. Sixth. Sixth? What's sixth? Oh, my kitchen smells so clean. Look. Why is there a pot on my stove? Maybe they've cooked. Let's see. Nope. It's empty. Look at this I got for my husband for Christmas. This blender. It was only $3. And I hid it in the closet and then he got it out and plugged it in. And I said, that was your Christmas present. And he made this face. It's hard to buy people presents when screen door, screen door, this door? It's a glass door, actually. My husband did build that. Today is the sixth. Oh, shit. All right, well, now I know. I should have known. Blair had a soccer game last night, and I thought it was tomorrow night because I read at seven as being on the seventh. So, Daddy took her, not me. I've seen enough soccer to last me a while. Of course, now she's, um, no, I got him the blender. Now, she made the all-star team. Oh, what's worse than soccer is the all-star team. And it's in Curry Tuck. And it's next Saturday. I think, the 17th, yeah. 
Got a babysitter for Amos all day so I can drive to Curry Tuck. Yes, he is quite handy. Today he was like, how long are you gonna be gone? I was like, um, I'm taking our son for ear tube surgery. Like the idea of like me taking people to the doctor counts as like a vacation, especially when you have to take Amos. Um, on my way to vote. Oh, good. Has everybody voted? I hope so. Where in the hell is Curry Tuck? <laughs> I don't know. It's like near Manio or Nags Head or something. Um, I don't know. And I'm sure it'll be freaking freezing. And you know why she mainly wants to play? Because she wants a sweatshirt with her name on the back. Mm -hmm, that's why. And she wants me to buy one too. What's worse than buying a sweatshirt? Having to buy two. She said, Amos, everybody needs one. We ain't spending you $200 on sweatshirts. I can promise you that. I have my limits. Mm. I tell you what, I love early voting. All states don't have it. I think it's so smart because what year I thought, well, I've got to vote too much drama. Well, Blair is tickled to pieces, and I don't know why she made it, really. She's not that good. And this is in the seven to nine league, so this is probably the only time she'll ever make. Unless she gets real good real fast. So, we're going to live it up. Of course, Daddy is gone that weekend. Honey. And I'll come back from Winston-Salem Friday night. And then go to Curry Tuck. Uh, cheaper to make them. So I got the nicest message this morning from Faye, who has a jogging stroller for me, her old Bob. She said it was very nice, and she kept it in the garage. Isn't that nice? I think she lives in Fayetteville. And then another person said, well, I have, our company has people all over the state. They can pick it up and deliver it to wherever you are. You know, that almost makes it worthwhile that the stroller got stolen. Hmm. clearly. I'm going to take a shower and I get my hair done on Friday in case you're wondering why it's so terrifying. Um, this weekend, what do we have this weekend? It's going to be cold on Saturday. Oh, Amos's birthday is Friday. Oh, that's almost as tiring. You know what his birthday, what the tricky part about it is? And I was thinking, I need to write a post about special needs moms and birthdays. It's really hard because... One, he doesn't tell you what he wants to do for his birthday. Nor does he tell you what he wants for his birthday. So really, you have to, it's like playing a game of mystery or clue. He likes police cars, so I'm like, maybe I should have a police car come over. Because he had such a good time in the one on Halloween. And then should I have friends come over? But then if he has a lot of friends come over, he'll insist and want to go inside and watch TV. And then he has bad manners at his own birthday party. Highland Canines number. Okay, message me that so I don't have to scrounge around and find. Will you? So I don't know what we're going to do. That's really all we have planned for the weekend. Oh, and then I leave Sunday to go stay in Swansboro. A fire truck. Well, I thought about that, Rebecca. I don't know if he really likes fire trucks. He's, I tell you what he does not like. He does not like sirens. No. Hmm. So anyway, we'll look. Or I told Blair we would think. And she's like, wants to go buy presents. How the, hell the hell she knows what he likes. Maybe we'll go to Target after our surgery tomorrow. If he feels up to it. We can do a perusing. He's 21 and nonverbal. It's hard buying for our son. Thank you, Mary. It is hard. It is hard. Nobody, I never knew about that. You've got to get people something. And what in the hell? We are doing a class party. Ooh, Rebecca, thank you for reminding me. I'm going to order cupcakes from Ann's Donuts in Rocky Mount. Does he understand the concepts of birthdays? No, he does not. Or if he does, I don't know that he does. But I don't think so. Now, last year, I did cupcakes, and I took balloons. And he was a real fan of balloons. So maybe, because he doesn't usually get balloons unless it's his birthday. Um, I'm going to order cupcakes from Ann's Donuts, and then I'm going to, you're going to work at the polls. All right. 
I'm gonna order a cake from Ann's Donuts. Do you think it'd still be good if I pick it up tomorrow for Friday? It's like, hell, we could always just have celebrate birthday tomorrow or Wednesday. It's tomorrow, Wednesday, yeah. Um, because they make these cakes that look like sheet cakes, but they're shaped like a donut, and they do one with cars in the middle, matchbox cars. I saw one when I was getting donuts, and I thought, ooh, Amos would like that. So I am going to do that. And for his present, I got him, like, this tricycle thing you can push him on. And he saw it because I had it outside. I was going to clean it. And then I was like, I'll see if he likes it. No, no sit. No like. So that was his good present. He doesn't like it. Mm. Blair said he would like his old TV. Difficult to buy for. She was like, he would like his old TV at his roof. I was like, you're exactly right. Yes, he would. And he is not getting that. He also an inflatable bouncy house. Well, we have one. It lives in my living room. You didn't see it, Judy, last week? Um, he does like that. Yes, that was a good present. He does like that. Though he doesn't like when the fan turns on. It takes him a few minutes to acclimate to the noise, but he does like it. I wish he liked to ride things. Put it in the fridge. Oh, and Ashley, it'll be fine. He would never come out of his room. Uh, exactly. You're exactly right. Okay, I'll put it in the fridge, Ashley. Um, and I got him this, like, tunnel thing. Hi, Desi. The rest of the kids want him to have his own TV. Uh, yes, they do. Um, and for Christmas, we're not giving them... We're going on a Disney cruise. Shh. I wouldn't dare say that on another video. That is their Christmas present. I hope it goes okay. It's really actually for my parents, but I might pretend it's for me. Four nights, five days. We're going to Miami for Christmas, and then we're going to do that. And we've been on one before, and I need to call and line up some sitters because he was a baby before, so he could go in the nursery. And now he's aged out of that. You're a Pepsi girl. You know, I flip-flop between Pepsi and Coke. If I'm going to be in Rocky Mountain, I drink Pepsi. Um, so, yes, that will be fun. And little Thomas turns 13 December 20th. And he and big Thomas are going on a ski trip um, for his birthday present. We all wanted to go. He's wanted to go out west. He's turned 13. And it's just too expensive for all of us to go. So they're going, and then they have some friends they can stay with. Friends of friends, Salt Lake City. And it's a direct flight. So there you go. There's that birthday present down. And I was like, you really need a bike. Do not give me a bike for my birthday. My children are, have a tendency to be entitled, which is probably my fault, but I really work on it. Mm. I'm talking so much, my cigarette went out. And what else? There was something else. How did Amos do before? Diet Mountain Dew. We are taking Amos. We're going to go to the homestead this winter. We have a lot of plans this winter. I'm not really into plans. We're going to go to the homestead. We have a free trip there because I have an article coming out in Carolina Parent this month. And we're going to go to Wintergreen for another weekend. And he can do adaptive skiing, which he loved when we went two years ago. Last year it turned, it got 70 and we couldn't go. So will you get them little presents? I don't know. Do I need to? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, oh, well I am going to get Blair a hoverboard because she's dying for one. But I think I'll get my parents, maybe I'll, I'll use the Disney Cruise and get my parents. We don't fly out until December 27th. Which, I kind of like that idea, but if we're not doing any presents, I kind of don't. So, I'm sort of thinking maybe we should go on Christmas Day. One year we flew on Christmas Day. That was kind of like an activity, you know? I mean, it was sort of a pain in the ass because you had to be packed, but it was still fun. Do stockings. Oh, I do stockings. Mmm. Those stockings are a lot of work, too. Merry Christmas. Pack your bags. Ooh, that's a good idea. I could get them all their own little rolling suitcases. Hmm. 
Usually I just pack us all together though, because you know you have to pay. Um, what other secrets do I have? Oh, yeah, talk about buy it. I've liked saying, oh, I bought this. I bought a play ticket to go surprise my mother for her birthday, keep his cane. So excited. One, personally excited for me because I get to leave on December 2nd and come back December 6th. Well, then yesterday my mom calls me and says, oh, Dad thinks we should stay home for my birthday. I was like, oh, crap. I'm dying to get out of here. And so I call, then I called her back. I talked to my dad, and he was like, you just need to decide with her. I was like, Mom, I bought a ticket, but I bought insurance on it because I'm not an idiot. And if you want to do your, she's turning 70, if you want to do your birthday at home, we can do that. And if you want me to come down there, then I'll do that. So we'll see. Fun plans. Um, I had a conference in Florida in January, and they canceled it. I'm sort of relieved. It's kind of nice to not have to do something like that. And I didn't have anything in February. And I have one thing in December where I'm donating um, my time to go to Roanoke Rapids and help a special ed teacher raise money. Give us a five to 10 minute warning before they start. Oh, Lori, I could do that. I will do that. From now on, that's a great idea get a Disney shirt. Where do people get all these Disney shirts? Do they have to like order them ahead of time? Oh, where be out? Let's give them a toy. Oh, that's a good idea. I get Russell some skis because you know by the time you rent them you might as well just buy some. That's the kind of crap we got growing up. Skis. Because what else are you supposed to get? It was the days before electronics. You just gave people things that they didn't need. You're welcome, Lori. Thank you for saying that. I'm very open to suggestions. Very. Normally, I wouldn't do one this late in the morning. Don't buy it there. Super expensive. Target has some. Oh, Disney things give them mouse ears. It's a good idea, too. Y'all are just full of creativity. Amos do well with different sitters. You know, he really does. He, um, he really does. That doesn't seem to phase him very much, which is good. And having Blair there, which they'll be fine. They'll be fine. I gotta get, I'm gonna get the car seat in her car, so I'm gonna take an extra car seat. Jane, or group deals, has Disney shirts. Oh, all right. I don't know if I can make that jump. Me in a Disney shirt makes me feel tired. And you know there's no internet for like five days when you're on a Disney cruise, which actually is quite liberating, I will say. Um, my kids have never been to Disney. You know, Disney World, we took, when Blair was like two, we went, because we were already in Miami. And so we've been to Legoland and Harry Potter. We'll go places from there because you could just drive. But Disney World, if you love rides, you need to go to Busch Gardens. Like, Disney World is not very ride-oriented. Um, but now the Disney Cruise... <gasps> Vicki, one of my new subscribers. Everybody say, hey, Vicki. Vicki, we're so glad you're here. You might be like, uh, this is a total shit show. She's just sitting around talking. Vicki, it's like more like we get to have a kind of start the day catch up. This morning, I was dying to do a live video for y'all <coughs> at about 6.45. My children were arguing. What were they arguing about? It was so funny. Oh, they were arguing about who was the smartest. So Blair gets to go to, um, she's not AIG, but she gets to go to the third grade, like, gifted group. And I said, well, Blair's doing something, something like that. And, and she was like, well, Russell never made it. And Russell goes, well, I'm, I was invited to do Duke Tip, and you weren't invited to do that, Thomas. And then Thomas said, well, I got the award. I mean, you've never heard so many people fighting. Ain't none of them gifted, I promise you that. Russell is probably the closest, and he's not. I mean, they're smart enough, but they're not, like, gifted. Only 2% of the population is gifted, even though 40% of Chapel Hill School System kids are gifted. Are they really gifted? Or are they just educated? 
I just drank my coffee and nod my head. Arguing at 6.45. Yes, they're arguing at 6.45. That's when their biggest arguments take place. And then Thomas hit Blair because her backpack touched his. And then, oh, oh, I know what she said. She said, you need to get him off Fortnite because it's making him violent. <laughs> it's probably some truth to that. I don't know what we're going to do about this. It's like we need to take the TVs out of the house, right? What if I took all the TVs out of the house? That would be so entertaining. Glad being smart is cool again. Well, it is at my house. Um, oh, yeah, Kate. She funny. She is funny. That has been our family's Christmas gift the last couple of years going in January. And Melinda, do you just, do you give them presents too? Or do you kind of say this is your present and maybe give them one or two small things? I sort of think that might be the way to roll for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. -y. Yeah, I might look at changing those tickets and frighten my mother and tell her we'll come. Ooh, we could go Christmas Eve. That would be even better. And then she would have to do Santa Claus. That'll get them. Take the TV. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to go take a shower and um, work on my Raleigh talk. So I can at least have two done by the time I leave today. You would cave. Yes, I would cave. Thank you, Jennifer, for pointing out my inadequacy. It's true. Very, very true. Oh, Ashley Steed just started watching. And Ashley, now we're about to cut off. But next time I will give a 10, 5 to 10 to 15 minute warning. Give a few small things, but we trips. Yeah, I'd rather, especially for birthdays, I think trips are good. We thought about going to Great Wolf Lodge on Friday. Maybe that's what we should do with Amos. Hmm, I'll ponder that for a second. Talk to y'all later. I don't know if I'll... Tomorrow we'll be doing that surgery business, but we'll, I'll check in at some point. I'm spending the night in Rocky Mount tonight, Angela, and then um, we're coming back from Raleigh. Next week, I'm spending the night in Moorhead Sunday night, Monday night in Rocky Mount, back home Tuesday night after Raleigh, and Winston Thursday night, then back home, and then Curry Tuck. You know, things like, I get real tired from traveling because I'm old and lazy took all my daughter's clothes we don't have very many clothes in our house anymore my goal is to just only have clothes that you wear which for Blair is like three pairs of pants so anyway that's actually been quite quite good why do people have so many clothes I've gotten rid of a ton of my clothes in fact I've got a whole bushel in the back of my car I have to dump off today somewhere show us the poles Okay, I'll try to show you the polls. Kitty, I'm going to be at Englewood Methodist Church, United Methodist, working the polls for my good friend Bruce Berry from 4 to 7. Well, it might be a little tiny bit late. So come and see me. Even if you've already voted, just come say hi. I'll be there. Uh, thanks for all goes well with the tubes. Thank you. I hope so too want any more antibiotics um y'all have a good rest of the day enjoy this nice weather at least it's nice where i am feels very fallish muggy but fallish okay goodbye